So I decided to make this video uh, regarding the installation of uh, Silvermine Motors uh, electric power steering system for the Datsun 240Z. So I started out crossing my car about uh, about four years ago now, and uh, just last winter I installed uh, you know 16 by 8 wheels, 225, uh, 200 treadwear tires, adjustable control arms, quick steering knuckles and uh, actually a smaller diameter steering wheel and with all those changes i found that uh, especially during autocross that the uh, steering effort was really high uh, there was one hairpin course uh, hairpin on one of the courses we did uh, last season that was really difficult to do um, using my whole upper body to turn the wheel so i decided that i would install the electric power steer steering system so the system i bought uh, was Built, made, put together by Silvermine Motors. Uh, it's a complete kit, includes everything, all the wiring, ECU, brackets, brand new steering column, everything you need to make it happen. Right here underneath there, you can see the, uh, that's the electric motor. It tucks up there nicely. You can't actually see it when you're uh, uh, behind the wheel. Uh, the ECU itself, uh, you can't see it, but it's installed up here, uh, up here. Uh, so just using uh, some existing screw holes that were in a bracket next to the the heating box, I guess. And uh, I just reused one of the uh, bolt holes with a 90 degree bracket for the top mount for the ECU. Uh, also, I purchased with it uh, a GPS uh, speed signal or sensor, I guess, a GPS speed unit. So that's installed there with the green light. Green light is always on, I guess, to indicate that it's got a good signal. I've just got it trialed right now under the dash to uh, see how that works from a, uh, just a, uh, just to make sure it gets a signal over there. Uh, yeah, as I said, includes all the uh, wiring harness and everything. So it includes fuses. Um, yeah, so just got it installed here. It's the red wire and uh, with the inline fuse, just got it going through the main uh, hole, uh, bolt, hole, hole through the bulkhead there. Um, so you can see here the uh, the kit includes everything from uh, this point back towards the driver. Uh, it removes the donut. I had a urethane unit before and use the bolt directly to it. It's all new U joints here. Uh, so it should be a very uh, tight feel afterwards. Easy effort, tight feel. Uh, anyway, so so far, like I said, I've just uh, I haven't driven my car yet. Still uh, finishing off the winter, but uh, it's already powered on when you're in accessory mode. But uh, this is uh, you know one finger to turn the wheel now, whereas before it would have been uh, you know both arms. Very impressed. So yeah, overall very happy with the install. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it is once we get back on the road. But uh, yeah, just a short video there. Like I said, very impressed uh, with the kit. There were a couple of changes actually I had to make, things I had to modify, I will mention. So the plate that mounts up to the dash, uh, I found that the dash itself has a, a thin uh, sheet metal 90 degree uh, sort of towards the driver. That, that interfered with getting to be able to get the, uh, the plate itself lined up with the bolt holes. So I had to make one small incision in the, uh, the sheet metal for the dash uh, to be able to bend that out of the way so that I could actually mount the bolt holes up. Uh, also at the firewall here, if you can see that, where it goes into the firewall, it's kind of dark. But uh, that bracket there, or the flange, I guess, it is... Uh, it's only welded on one side, so it doesn't look like it's going to line up. It's not at the right angle when you install it, but once you do the bolts up, it'll actually pull everything into alignment, so that was fine. Um, because I purchased the, uh, the GPS uh, uh, speed unit, uh, the kit comes with a plug already attached to the, uh, to the motor itself, or sorry, to the, uh, to the wiring harness. I had to cut off the plug and just put some connectors in there with some heat shrink to... Uh, directly link the uh, the speed sensor to the uh, ECU. And one final change, just based on where I had my ECU mounted, I had to uh, just extend that uh, wire by just about four or six inches just to let it reach the battery terminal. 
So you can see from there to there, I guess it's probably a foot I added of the wiring harness just to get it to hook up. But uh, other than that, the kit is, uh, is great. Uh, I guess, like I said, I'll, I'll report back once I take it out for the first drive in autocross and let you know how it uh, works from a speed sensing perspective and adjusting the effort with uh, vehicle speed. One final thing uh, regarding electrical connections to the vehicle uh, for the kit. Uh, obviously there's power and ground, but then also you have to connect, uh, there's a signal required from the back of the tack. Uh, I just took a picture here. This is, uh, you can see this is the back of the tack and the, uh, the white loop there. It's an inductive loop, which is from the, uh, the ballast resistor in my car and from the distributor itself, uh, or from the coil, sorry, the coil and the ballast resistor. So you just need to tap into uh, that wire to uh, provide a signal for the RPM. And then also on the back of the, uh, this plugs into the uh, the key and the ignition switch. So if for my car, the uh, accessory power you need to tap into was the uh, blue with the red stripe, the blue wire with the red stripe. So yeah, those are the only two other electrical connections other than the ground and power. You need to connect into the RPM signal, which is in the inductive loop uh, for my 240Z. At least that's the wire I used. And then uh, on the back of the ignition switch, just the, for mine it was the blue and the red wire is just triggered in the accessory mode. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to reply. And uh, yeah, good kit. Happy with it. Bye-bye.